Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Craven, and this is five random horror games that I found on Itch.io. Yeah. Uh, this is number 76 in the series, I believe, which blows my mind. That is a ton of just little horror games that I've played. Uh, the first one we're covering today is Scare b, &B. I believe it is kind of like a riff off of Barbarian, the movie. If you haven't seen it yet, you should. It's good. Uh, Scare b, b demo. When you, say, uh, when you say the night at a random person's house, can you ever really feel at home? Scare b, &B demo is a first-person horror experience inspired by PS1 horror classics. You're staying the night at a random house, and something is immediately off. Some, solve some puzzles to navigate your way through the game and try to avoid whatever it is that's after you. And what's going on in that cellar? Ominous. Cool. Uh, let's do it. Okay, controls. When the dot in the middle of your screen becomes yellow, you can interact with that object. Press E to interact. Okay. I can do that. Uh, in the mid-1990s, a company by the name of Nassat Industries was launching a groundbreaking new idea to change how we travel. The plan was to have individuals rent out their own homes to people as destination vacations, promising the authentic experience of being local with other responsibilities. The business was gaining a lot of traction, and only after a few test trials, it was greenlit by investors. Within two months, the entire business model would be scrapped unceremoniously, along with evidence of it existing, existed at all. The only traces left are personally record, recorded home footage recovered at a few of the locations and questions. The following events you are about to witness are what took place at just one of the homes rented out under Nassat Industries. Oh, Nassat. Satan. Yeah. Cool. All right, can we leave? Let's always check for a coward ending. There's no way I'm driving anywhere in this weather. Coward. Take chances. I like the skybox. Dear tenant, thank you for choosing our beautiful property. Your vacation home away from home is eagerly awaiting your arrival. As an added extra level of safety to you and us, we have put the front door key in a lockbox hanging from the railing. It is no ordinary lockbox, though, in that it requires a bit of problem solving to open. Nothing a savvy person like you can't handle. After all, you were smart enough to book a home with Nassat Property Management. Thanks, Satan. Here's a hint. The answer is on this paper. Oh, it's probably 2836. Uh... Yeah, sorry in advance for some of the lighting issues. The wiring is a bit old, and every once in a while, a light bulb may blow. Uh, there are extra supplies in the shed. If you need anything, do not go under the house. Then Lucille Fur, CEO Lucifer. <laughs> Clever. Okay, so let's do two, eight, three, six. Oh, nope. Okay, so it's the other number that's underlined. 15296. 15296. 15296. 152. There's no 9. Oh! Blue, red, yellow, green. Then purple? It's, all, it's the color of the highlighters. There we go. I think I was clicking the wrong blue. Okay. Oh, I got the key. And the note said stay out. Yeah, don't go under the house. So I wonder if this key will work. Seems locked up tight. Okay. Wait. If I had something to break this big lock, I might be able to get in. Hi, tenant. 
So you may have noticed we also have a lock on the shed door. Gotta keep those varmints out. Luckily this time, it doesn't involve any insane color puzzles. Don't worry, it's your classic lock and key. It's about the key. You may have noticed an electric keyboard inside of one of our high-end in our high-end vacation home. While this acts as a fun entertainment for our guests, it also doubles as a high-tech security system. All it takes is playing the correct little tune and the safe will open, almost like magic. Sometimes errors are on purpose. So, there are randomly capitalized letters in this. And vacation home, while well, this X is a, yeah, so F for fun. A, and as. C, oh, face. Yeah, you have to play face on the keyboard. That's like one of the first, like, note progressions you learn, I think. Close that. Hi, Spooky! <laughs> flashlight. Press F to turn flashlight on and off. Okay. Um. F. A. C. E. Yeah! I'm gonna go see what's in that. In the shed. Or did this open where the key is? Okay. I think it opened where the key is. Somewhere in the house. Let's go take a look. Oh! <laughs> it was right next to me. Damn it. Alright. I'll leave that there for now. Why didn't they clean the stovetop? Ew! I would file a complaint. Are you serious? They don't even clean up after the last guests. Not much in the fridge. Good thing I stopped at Burgos. <laughs> okay, so it leads. Grab your bags from your car trunk. Okay, aw, PlayStation. Oh, hell yeah. A PS1. I'm sorry, the text goes so slow. Maybe this place isn't so bad. It's like the intro text flew by, but the talking text. It takes a while. Do you need to turn your car off? Hmm. Don't like that. Um. Boop. I think I'm delirious from the drive. I should just heat up my food and watch some TV. Big bag from Burgos. <laughs> Ugh, I don't like the shower curtain. It's freaky. Uh, boop. Yeah. This place is disgusting. <gasps> Look at this burger! Look at this delicious burger! <laughs> All right. The doors won't budge, but I can see a light peeking through. Yeah, there's like something on the table in there. All right. Uh. Nice. At least the TV works. This is another Looney Tunes. Okay. 
Okay, turn that off. Oh, fuck. Grab the light bulb from the shed out back. Got it. Although I read it off of the capture screen. Okay. Let's head out back again. Wait, I have to get the key. Aha. Your battery is fucked if you don't turn that off. Yeah, no way I'm driving. Okay. Oh boy. There's like a back door to the to the shed. That actually <laughs> That actually got me. Okay, where's this going? Okay, there we go. Is somebody taking a shower? Fuck me! Was he naked? Did I interrupt his bath? I'm sorry, dude. Need Hello? a towel? Hello, is someone there? Hard. What? Uh... Ew, I hid in the bath. Ew. Did we just hang out? I was thinking my jump scare messed up my camera placement. Oh, did I not? Hey everybody. So, I had to go back through it. How festive. What does it say on the side? Not the shower? Hard. Okay, so I went under the bed this time. Come on in! Hurry up! There's somebody walking around. Oh, here they come. Oh, he went to the closet. I think we're safe. Oh. Oh. Well, that's not good. Let's see. Uh, section, what is that? SAC 1? Oh, Sacrifice 1. Promising start, but didn't yield any results. Sacrifice 2. Didn't even make it to the altar before dying of fright. Good riddance. We don't need, we don't want a little bitch like that as one of ours. Uh, chosen any, oh wait. Let me read this again, sorry. <laughs> Didn't even make it to the altar before dying of fright. Good riddance, we don't want a little bitch like that 
as one of our chosen anyway. Sacrifice three. So far, so good. Currently tied up under the house and awaiting a partner. Okay. Is the lock on the side of the house going to be off? Oh, I see it. Not the shower. Okay, I thought they stole my car. <laughs> Those motherfuckers must have messed with my car. There's a part missing. Okay. Needs to be locked up tight. If I had something to break this big lock, I may be able to get in. Okay, so let's check the shed. Shovel. Uh. Wrench. Pickaxe. Toolbox. I think we're on back. Okay, so we need a big thing to break open... The lock on the hatch. Like... And I can't pick up the camera. That's, there we go. Fuck, that scared me. You bitch! <laughs> Taking pictures of me? Look at this... this fancy little... Bop! Bonk! <laughs> to be continued, thanks for playing. I like that. It actually scared me a few times. The uh, color puzzle in the beginning kind of confused me, and I'm not sure why it confused me. It just did. Yeah. Like, I just couldn't get the order of the colors right. But other than that, I thought that was good. I would definitely play a full version of that. Well, cool. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, this next one's called Incoherence. Uh, warning. The following features adult themes, violence, indication of self-harm, acts of suicide, and vague nudity. Ooh. Incoherence is an emotionally charged, narrative-driven game that follows Kate, a resilient protagonist grappling with the loss of her beloved sister. The gameplay combines exploration, interaction with the world, and dialogue to immerse players in Kate's nightmares, or nightmare of guilt and desperation. Okay. Let's do it. She's dead. She's fucking dead. R.A.P. Damn! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I need to get dressed. We have a great butt. Uh... Okay, locked. Key here. No need for the keys. Okay. Boop. Okay, we're getting dressed. Now we wait for the call. Okay. Cute little room. Can't leave. Nothing on TV right now. I'd rather not now. Okay. No drinking. Not even a little bit. Just a little sippy. Prescribed drugs. I rather smoke. <laughs> what kind of smoke are you talking about? Hello? Yes, Dr. Calkins. I'm on my way. Okay. Locked. Do I need the key? Locked. Okay, so it goes to this door. <laughs> I can just walk up on the bed. I like that. I've been so hiccupy lately. Leave a like for hiccups. Hello. Oh, there's an invisible wall right there. What are you? 
Where are you? A torso. That's weird. That reminds me of Annihilation. When people's DNA starts mixing with the plants. Oh. Hi, Linky. Oh, can't talk to you? That freaked me out. <clears throat> Thanks for visiting me in the hotel. I understand this might not be your usual practice, but I really needed to talk. I'm glad you decided to do this again. Considering your position and tragic circumstances, I was getting, or I was more than willing to uh, help. I don't know why I can't read today. Can you tell me, once again, why did you decide to move from your apartment and pay a great deal of money for this hotel? After what happened to my sister, I wasn't able to stay there. Every night, I had the same nightmare about her, and it was torture for me. I was lucky enough to get some money from my employer, at least for now. I do not have to worry about paying the rent, and I can enjoy a hotel pizza. Looking at the bright side of things, I guess. Kate, this is not healthy. You have to face the issue right up front. You cannot live in this hotel forever. You talked about the nightmares. Can you describe them to me? They're very real at times, but usually when I wake up, the nightmare does not end. I have this deep feeling, more like a voice telling me to do something. What does the voice tell you to do exactly, Kate? It is very important to say it out loud to ensure that it is not real. The voice tells me to... to kill someone. To kill? Who? Does the voice specify a person? A name? Is it somehow connected to your sister's suicide? Kate, I need you to focus on this. I don't know. It just tells me to kill. I see my sister, and she is so real. But there is something off about her. Something sinister in her voice. Kate, does your sister tell you to kill someone? Do you see her? Do you see your sister in this room right now? Hi! Kate! Kate! I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. My head hurts. The medication is not helping it at all. And I don't know what to do. I fucking don't know how to get her out of my head. Kate, I need you to stay alert at all times. I'll prescribe something for the headache. We'll meet again in three days, alright? If there is an emergency, please call me. Alright. Alright. I'll try to do the medication technique you told me about. Thanks again for the talk. It means more to me than you can imagine. Looking forward to the next visit. So we're being haunted by our sister? Ugh, I should go to my room. Where'd this guy go? Hello. Little old lady. Wearing a burlap sack for a sweater. Love it. L looks like a potato sack. Okay, let's get back to our room. Uh-uh. Bye. What is that on the table? Uh, Dear Miss Anderson, we hope this letter finds you well, and I want to extend our appreciation for choosing Velvet Vista Hotel. VVH. Uh, for your recent stay, unfortunately, it has come to our attention that there are some issues that require immediate attention. We have received multiple complaints from other guests and our staff regarding loud banging noises and an unpleasant odor originating from your room. To ensure the comfort and tranquility of all of our guests, we kindly request that you please adhere to the hotel's noise policy and be mindful of your noise level. If there is a specific issue or concern that requires our attention, please do not hesitate to contact our front desk. We appreciate your understanding and cooperation in this matter. We look forward to the remainder of your stay at our hotel. Sincerely, VVH Management. Okay. Whatever. I should put some I should put these clothes in the closet. Okay. Somehow I am tired. I should lay down. Okay. Who is knocking? Can they leave me alone? Hello? 
Who is knocking? Excuse me, hello? What the fuck? I should close that. Jump scare incoming. I think my camera's lopsided. Let me fix that. There we go. Mm, now it's the other way. There we go. Okay. Cute. What the fuck? The lights. I should get my phone. Wait. Where am I? Oh no! I'm 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 in a mental hospital. <laughs> Locked. What year is it? I have like a tablet, but then it's giant CRT monitor. Or not tablet, a phone. Sorry. Why the fuck did I even come here? This hospital is rotten. I wish my sister was here. But as usual, she has too many fucking problems to deal with, unlike me, a drug addict, who is trying to break free from all this. Wait. Locked. Looped. Okay. Maybe something on the machines. Um, is there thing on the board? Computer. I think I've tried all the doors. That one's locked. There's nothing on the bench. I can't interact with this one at all. Okay, so I gotta trigger a scare somehow. Oh, there's a note on the seat. Every day is the same loop. I go to this hospital, get some medication, try to be a better self. Yeah, but what's the point? My sister doesn't give a shit. Anyway, I might die tomorrow and she won't even remember. Okay, so I gotta find a note in each room. This is new. I can't interact with it. Okay, same shit. Yeah, there's like boxes of documents that I can't interact with. Here we go. My medical history is pretty short. Nothing of value is, uh, nothing of value in broken things. But maybe if my sister is interested, Maybe if she can pick up the phone and at least once be curious. All I can do is hope for the best. Bullshit phrase. Oh. Okay. So there's got to be something else in here. Do I go through the medical records? Nothing here. I should search the rest. Okay. I love invading people's medical privacy. Snoopers be snooping. Uh, demography details? This year old patient presents uh, for a. Wait, presents four of alcohol and cannabis withdrawal? History was obtained from the patient. Chief complaint, uh, I want rehab I have been using. General history, circumstances of admission. Patient is a single year old double A woman. What? With bipolar disorder, alcohol and cannabis abuse, other dependents, and was admitted in with symptoms of depression, including CAH of voices. I don't know what that means. Telling her to hurt herself. Uh, she has done outpatient program and wants to change her life this time. 
Referral paper is reviewed. Discharge summary. Discharge instructions. Physical exam reviewed. Okay. Okay, so let's go down the other door. Go through the loop. So her sister was an addict, died, and now she's haunting us? Hi! Did you sell your clothes for cannabis? <laughs> or some booze? Why are you naked? Hello. Oh. Computer? I hear the loading sound, like of a old hard drive scrubbing. Shit, the battery died. Now what? Do you feel it now? Do you feel guilty? You selfish bitch. <laughs> you abandoned me when I needed you. You made a promise. You said we were all. You said you were always going to be with me. Go back. Go back and end this. Oh. Hello. Goodbye. I should check on my sister first. Okay. Is she in the bathroom? Found her. Wait, maybe I have to use the phone first. Maybe I spoiled it. Nope, can't do that. Hi, sis. Um. What can I... What am I supposed to do? Gun? Why did... Okay, this next one's called Cleanies Window Service. Clean the windows of a rich family home during a suspiciously quiet night. You get a request from an unknown client. They need to clean their windows during the night. Given the look of the luxurious home, you expect a big payout for your service. Hmm. Okay, let's do it. Unknown number. Hello, cleaning service. We have some dirty windows at home. But we are uh, busy during the day, so your job would be done at night. Don't worry about it, though. You will be paid up front. I think I will worry about it, actually. I'll now send you, or send the address to you. Okay. It's a big-ass house. I gotta clean all the windows. Damn. I better get paid a shit ton of money. Can I leave? No. Can you get close to the car? Hello? Oh, there we go. There's a car. Oh. Invisible walls everywhere. Do I go in and say hello? All the lights turned off? I thought somebody stole my truck. Alright, 
Um, check tools. Okay, so you spray. How? Hello? Hello? Go. Okay. So I got, oh, so I, if I click on the actual words, it doesn't work. I just have to slam. Yay! Aw. Okay. Um, next window. This one's bloody. Okay. So now let's get a sponge and clean off all the chunky stuff. You need to respray the. Okay. There we go. Spange. Yeah. Oh my god. There's so many windows. Oh my god. Okay. Spray. Towel. And wipe. Hello. What's up, buddy? Yeah, hi. What's up? Are you going to pay me for this? All right. See ya. <laughs> I'm expecting something to be behind one of these dirty ass windows eventually. This is very cute. Also, how are you doing, everybody? Hope you're doing good. Is that what? Is that a face? Weird. Oh, next window. And wipe. Uh, yeah. Spider. Hi. Well, I'm doing this. Uh, I've been nursing a torn rotator cuff for like the last month or so. Finally got to go see a doctor yesterday, like at the hospital. Exit. Eh, let's keep going. Uh, and one thing I've noticed about the NHS over here is that, like, if you aren't literally dying, like, they basically just tell you, have a cup of tea and some, like, ibuprofen, and we'll see you in three weeks. It's like, my, my rotator cuff has been torn and has been in a lot of pain for the last month. I went to go see my GP, and they sent me a recommendation to the physio at the actual hospital. And I went there, and they basically just gave me the exact same shit in, like, instructions and care that my GP did. There we go. Firefly? The fuck? Like, it's nice that I don't have to pay for it, because it's just all... It's based on taxes and stuff. But at the same time, like, I know in America I would have gotten something by now. That's the only downfall. Is, like, you have to be, like, be, like, emergent. Emergency Tina. Emergency Nista. 
for them to actually like treat you. And also, I've had a few people, like Scottish people, tell me to enjoy the rest of my stay. Oop. Creepy ass. Just walked up there. And it's like, I, I, I live in Scotland now. There we go. Creepy mask. Okay, boop. Somebody peeking at me? Yeah, my bottle's empty. Better grab some more cleaner from the back of the truck, okay? So far, so good. I have so many windows. Holy shit. What? I must have dropped my keys somewhere in the yard. Okay. Oh, there they are. How'd this happen? Here it is, if they open the back of the truck. Okay. I'm expecting some kind of scare to happen now, because I picked up an item. Okay. Handprints and feet prints. Do I have to clean that off too? I guess not. Uh, start cleaning. Boop. Oh, I thought that red light in there was a pair of eyes looking at me earlier. Yeah, there we go. Um, next window? What kind of automated lift thing is this? Like, how much would a window cleaning have to cost to have this kind of equipment? Why is there blood on the outside of the window? I hate having to go back and do two rounds, three rounds of spraying. There we go. Yeah, like, <laughs> why is there blood on the outside of the window? Um, spray the handprints down. Uh, am I missing something? Let's see. There we go. Is somebody breaking in, like, while I'm cleaning the windows? Like, some, are they getting murdered while I'm cleaning the windows? What's going on? Oh, the family's in there having dinner. Okay. Oh, they're having a little birthday celebration. That's cute. Bro is just hiding out behind the door. You know what? 
Not my problem. I got paid for one job. And that's to clean windows. I ain't no hero. Really wish that I didn't have to reload the water every time. <laughs> there we go. Okay, next. Wipey, wipey. <gasps> Not my problem. Oh my god, there's more blood in there. At least I'll have to clean that up. We'll have to call the Viscera cleanup detail people. That's fucking... This is fucking grim. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's play a cute little window washing game with a horror theme to it. And now I'm just like... Listening to this family get absolutely butchered. I'm just like... They, I hope they paid me up front. They keep making me... I think I know why... They have me uh, change from thing to thing, do this so often. I bet they're going to just have him be in my face at one point. Hey, boop. Is that a butcher knife? Hey, if you need somebody to clean carpets, I know a guy. Okay. Somebody's going up in the attic. I like how the story's unfolding slowly as I do this. Ah! Oh! Oh no! Dragging the bodies up there? Again, why is there blood on the outside the window? Grim. Oh, somebody's watching TV in this one. That creepy mask again. There's a safe in there. The door's cracked? I think it was closed when I first got to it. Bathroom. Something scary always happens in a bathroom. Yeah, there's the the guy that broke in. There's his mask and his hat. Is he dead? Did they kill him? Well, oh, weird. 
Going up and sideways. Looks like there was somebody up on the chimney. All right, we're in the attic area now. Is this where the family was taken? Hello. I wonder if the whole family, like, killed the killer. They totally did! The red mask guy... Oh. They're all gone. The red mask guy... Yes! Hello, cleaning service? We need some window cleaning at home. And then they go out and smear it all and get it all dirty. Damn. I mean, a family that slays together stays together, right? That was good. I like that. Uh, cool. Let's head on to the next one. Damn. That was like a, a huge list of, like, important people. Like, Erdorf, Triple Duke, uh, Jesse Cox. So cute. So hot. And, uh, Molly Moon, I think is her name. She has a TikTok where she would act like she was in a point-and-click horror game. It's like, as a TikTok would go, it would, like, you'd basically be trapped by her. If I can find one, I'll try to put it in the video. Hi, you must be my date. You're late. Order us some food. I'm bored. I love them. You're unbelievable! Yuck! Nice job picking the restaurant. That's it! Sick em, boy! Excuse me sir is a point and click adventure game featuring content creator Molly Moon. Her world is creepy, surreal, and if you're not careful, deadly. Can you solve the mystery of your missing brother? Or will Molly lure you to your doom? Sick. Let's do it. My brother went missing a few days ago. I hope whoever lives here can help me find him. Missing. Have you seen this man? George Fly. <laughs> Is this supposed to be McFly? 29, 5, 9, 148. Damn, he's skinny. Uh, please, information needed. Uh, call local sheriff's office if you've seen him. Okay. And then... All that's normal. Cool. Oh, here's my comes now. Hey. Who are you? Yeah, her TikToks are like this. Uh, can I use your phone? Have you seen my brother? Show flyer. Drag item from inventory to use them? Okay. He looks familiar. Let's go inside and ask my friend. I think I'm already dead. Okay. Let me tell them you're here. Okay. Meet yourself back home. Okay. Ooh, a screwdriver. Um. There's meats. Nothing else in here I can get. Freezer? Nothing in the freezer. Door. The door is locked. I'm fucked. Okay, can't do that. 
Kitchen. Great. In the basement. Follow me. Go ahead. I'll meet you down there. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so good. Don't worry. I'll call the sheriff. Can I... Stab you? No? Okay. Okay. Trying to find things I can click on, but also... Not go too far into the basement, I guess? Ugh, hello! We've been expecting you. Have you seen my brother? I don't believe I have. We could ask the other members if they have, though. Sure. But first, we must pray. Follow me. <laughs> As our newest member, you'll have to perform the prayer. Okay. The outline on the floor. I'm gonna do the arms first, then I'll do the circle. I remember when we were seeing her videos for the first time, and I was like, oh my god, this would actually be a fantastic game. And I think I saw. Uh. Either, I think it was Airdorf. Good. Now, you'll need to make a sacrifice. Okay. Uh, they quote tweeted one of her videos and were just like, holy shit, I need to work with her. And I'm really glad they did. Um. Did it work? You idiot. What I do? You did it wrong. Uh oh. <laughs> Time to go. Am I hiding in the dryer? Ending two of three, Molly found you. Okay, so let's go forward, this way, up. Um. Is there anything in here I need to do? Like, it looks like there's something on the bed. That's a nice house. Okay, so we're in a bathroom. I'm hiding in the shower. She sniffs me out. <laughs> this is incredible. Okay, let's go kitchen, living room, living room, uh, let's go this way. Oh, I'm hiding in the closet. Do I stink? Am I just a, am I just a smelly baby? Okay, bedroom, uh, kitchen, living room, back in the bedroom? I don't think anything happens in here. Kitchen, living room, living room, this way? Okay, nothing here. Living room. Closet, hallway. Uh, 
Oh, she couldn't find me. That was too close. I need to find a way out of here. Okay. Uh, still have a screwdriver. Like, there's a door right there. Living room, question marks? Hallway? Hallway. Living room. Kitchen. There's nothing there. Let's go back in the living room. Nothing at the fireplace. Um... What? Am I, cr am I crawling through the mirror? Is it Silent Hill 4? You escaped! Ending 3 of 3. Cute. Let's try to get that first ending. I wonder if it's just like, you just don't go in at all. Hey. Who are you? Sure. Come inside. Now let's ask my friends if they've seen your brother. Why don't I call the sheriff and ask about your brother? <laughs> so there's more stuff to do in the room. Weird. None of these clothes look like Molly's. None of them are her size or her style. Whose clothes are these? And where are the owners now? Huh? That's my brother's ID. So he is here. Or at least he was. But where is he now? Like my outfit? Sure. Let's play a game. No. This game only has one rule. I always win. Where'd you get that backpack? My friend. Gave it to me. Let's ask him. In the basement. No, I'm gonna call the sheriff. You're stubborn. I like that. Uh... Oh, damn it. Molly always wins. There's the last ending. Damn. That was really good. Like, I'm really glad they actually all got together and made something. Uh, if this could be expanded into... I don't know, something like 20 to 30 minutes. I would love it. Totally down. Yeah. Uh, let's go on to the last one. Hey, everybody. This is the Insomnus Experiment by Vitus Games. I haven't played a game by Vitus in a long time. I, I have uh, two games by him I need to play. Uh, so I'll do that this upcoming week. Uh, yeah, this is inspired by the Russian sleep experiment, Creepypasta. Russian researchers in the late 1940s kept five people awake for 15 days using an experimental gas-based stimulant. Explore the facility, find out what happened, and what remains there. Keep cutting. Blech. I mean, I just read that. <laughs> Isn't there a movie based off of this, too? We're in. Can I leave? Nope. Nobody's giving me the coward ending. Also, Vitus, this looks really good. Looks like the Colossal Titan face. Mm. Somebody's sleepy. Hello. Okay. 
Okay, interact with the doors. So I guess I just have to go through this little maze. Doctor? And that's a long time to be awake. I can go like 12 hours, and then I'm like, all right, nap time. <laughs> oh, door's open. After five days without sleep, the paranoia started to kick in. The test subjects stopped talking to each other. They whispered to us. What were they saying? I would like to take a nap, please. Can I get some shut eye? <laughs> okay, so I can go back that way. There's a door here. Okay, let's go back here. Oof. This gives me like Blair Witch vibes. After nine days, one test subject started screaming until his vocal cords broke. Then another one did the same. And then the screaming stopped. As well as the whispers. So after nine days, like, true madness started setting in, I guess. eerie as fuck. If I was here right now in real life, my... Whew, my guts would have fallen out my ass by now. No, let's leave. Be you inside always waiting, watching, seeking your eyes and not close to stay open. One more thing to do, one less moment of sleep. Clock reset, start waiting again. Fall asleep, lose yourself, find what lies beneath the surface. Ready, waiting to swallow you all until there's nothing. But at that moment is everything. Keep your eyes open. If they don't close, they can't stop you. The true strength you have lie dormant. Your wasted potential, your unused life that toils away, falling into a spiral that will be death. Little chatterbox back there. They will find you. There is no way to outrun them. The more we say of nothing, the less of waking. A little box. After three more days, we couldn't see what was inside the room. The test subjects weren't making any sounds either, but we knew they were inside, according to how much oxygen was being consumed. Did they not have cameras? There's a big red wheel right here. 
Okay, I can't interact with that. Hello? Sleepy boys, where are you? Nurse. The doctor announced that they will open the chamber to test the microphones. That the people inside need to get on the ground or they will be shot. Then we heard a whisper. We no longer want to be freed. Oh shit. Are they doing the gas on me? Uh. Okay, can't go in there. Should I try the wheel again? Hey, buddy. That might be the most... realistic. Or, like, the best, like, model of that picture I've ever seen. I mean, it did say keep cutting. Hello? Oh, fuck. I must remain awake. Oh, he got out. Ooh. I think the longest I've ever stayed awake was 30 hours. I'm staying awake that long really fucks you up. Am I hiding? <laughs> Hello? Why would I get out? I'm gonna live here forever now. I, I live here. This is my house. What the fuck? <laughs> what? It's like the inner demon is coming out. Keep cutting. <laughs> Damn. Damn, that was good as fuck. That was good as fuck. Yeah, very cool. Uh, I haven't played one of Ice's games in a long time. Uh, he has two games called Sorrow Asylum and Sorrow Asylum 2 I need to play. So I'm going to be covering those this upcoming week. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. That's all five games. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any recommendations for short little horror games like this to check out, please let me know. Uh, I will have the rest of The Walking Dead Season 2 coming up uh, this upcoming week. I'm going to let people catch up on the first three episodes. Then I'll have episode four and five on Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you all next time. Bye.